Hi friends, this is your prophet, Prophet Great. Please, today is your very first time of watching our channel. We entreat you that you subscribe, like and share. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Today, we are looking at dream about idols. What does it mean for you to uh, see yourself in the dream or see idols pursuing you? Or see yourself worshiping idols or see yourself around idols what does it mean now listen to me that is not a good dream seeing yourself in a shrine seeing yourself with idols or seeing idols pursuing you masquerade pursuing you these are satanic evil dreams these are indications that there is an altar that's making claims over your life is an indication that there is a demon that is manipulating your life. If you study the Bible carefully, the Bible speaking, it says in the book of Psalm 11, verse number 3, the Bible says, If the foundation be faulty, what can the righteous do? So what the devil does is to fight you through your foundation. Remember, your ancestors, your great, 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 great grandfathers were not born again. And so most of them brought these idols. They established these idols. They erected altars for these idols. And you hear them making very nasty statements like, I will serve you and our children, 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 children will serve you. So you are seeing yourself in the dream. You see an idol appearing to you. You see an idol after you. You see a masquerade after you. You see a strange spirit, strange image around you, after you constantly. It's a sign that you are connected to an idol. And you need this connection. It's a sign that your destiny is under attack by idols. We can see that in Judges chapter number 6, verse number 25. The Bible speaks, it said there was a young man by name Gideon. Now, Gideon was destined to be so mighty. He was destined to be a ruler. He was destined to be a president. But the Bible says this young man was hiding in the caves. This man was crying to an angel. He was telling the angel, I am nobody. I am from the least tribe of Israel. And among the least tribe, my own family is the least of the least. We are the most poorest. Not knowing that he was a born star. He was destined to be great. And then the Lord spoke to him and said, Gideon, your problem is the idols in your father's house. The idols that your father has erected. And so go and destroy it. And then in verse 25, we saw the Bible said he went in the night and brought down the altars. He destroyed the groves, the images, the idols. As soon as Gideon did that, the Bible said suddenly there was a strange manifestation. The young man just saw himself as the president of Israel for 42 years. And his children, his seed, began to reign as governors in Israel. Now listen to me. I don't know that idol that has been fighting your life. I don't know that power that is claiming ownership that is now appearing to you in your dream. You keep seeing yourself with idols. Keep seeing masquerade chasing you. Mas you see yourself dancing with masquerade. See yourself with strange creatures dancing, eating, playing, walking around. It's a sign that your destiny is connected. There is a connectivity. There is a connection between you and idols. And you need a great deliverance. Praise God. And that is why the Bible speaking in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Jesus speaks that, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. And nothing shall by enemy hurt you. And so you, you have the power to wrestle with this idol. Every now and then people kept rejecting you. People kept maltreating you. It's not them. It is the idols making claims. Sometimes you see, you appear before people, the idol just appeared and misrepresent you. Praise God. So it's not the fault of the people. It's the fault of the strange being that is making claims over your life. Praise God. And then another thing is this. In the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 1 verse number 10, the Bible speaking, it says, this day, I have exalted you. I have lifted you. 
I'm empowering you to go pull down the altars, pull down the groves, pull down the altars, pull down the idols, destroy, set on fire, uproot, scatter. And so you are seeing these dreams. They are not good dreams. Remember the devil is not a friend of anybody. If you see the idols around your house, it's an indication that they are there to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That's what Jeremiah said, pull down, to crush, to destroy, and to scatter them. Praise God. In the book of Matthew, Jesus speaking, in the book of Matthew chapter 15 verse 13, he said, whatsoever my heavenly father has not planted shall be uprooted. So these idols, these powers are not planted by God. They are planted by your ancestors that never knew God. And now the idols are killing people. The idols are causing miscarriage. The idols are causing marital crisis. The idols are causing financial hardship. The idols are now sitting on people's destiny and glory. So it's your responsibility as a child of God. It's your responsibility as an anointed child of God to destroy such idols. I prayed for you. Any altar that has swallowed what belongs to you, that have swallowed your glory, your destiny, your marriage, I command them to vomit it now. I set that altar on fire. I set the gross, the image and the idols on fire in the name of Jesus. Shalom. God bless you.